Right, A5 now. Um, okay, we have our circuit here. Six. Four ohms. Five ohms. They come back together. And here there's some power supply. And we're told it's 12 volts. What is the voltage along the... Oh, thank you, thank you. 12.4 volts. And these are ohms, ohms, ohms. Okay. What is the voltage across the 6 ohm resistor? Yeah, so we have to find the current, um, which means really we have to find the resistance. The first thing I'm going to do is add all those resistors together. Yeah, very good. So it's, we'll do 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5. That is? One over, oh, I'm sorry. 9 over 20. Are you giving me the, just this part? Yeah. 9 over 20. Which means, yeah, the resistance is 20 over 9 plus 6. which will work out to be 8.22. So what have you done? If I go to the side for a moment, just for a moment, what you've done is you've replaced this circuit uh, for this circuit. 12.4 volts and then one big resistor, yes, of 8.22 ohms. Now we can get the current here using what law? V equals IR. So I equals V over R. Thank you. What is it? 12.4 divided by that? Yeah, so you have current is 1.508 amps. It's 8.22. Yes. Divided by, sorry, 12.4 divided by 8.22. Yep. Can I go back to the main part now? Yes. Yep. So now that we know the current, there are, oh sorry, what did I just say? 8 point, um, 8 point one, no, sorry, 1.508 1 point, 1 coulombs a second going around this circuit. Okay. First question. What is the voltage in the 6 ohm resistor here? So what law could I use here? Again, just V equals I or. So that would be 1.508 multiply 6. So I got 9.5. Oh, five volts. Well, nine point oh four eight. It's about nine point oh five volts. That's the potential voltage. That's the voltage. Yeah, in the six ohm resistor. Okay. Can I go on now? To the next part? Yes. Yep. Now the next part, there are two ways to do the next part. For the next one, they would like the current going through here. Now you could use Kirchhoff, or you could use Ohm's law carefully. Please be careful. The current here is not 1.508. Why not? Current. It divides. If I was to use Ohm's law, I would need to know the R and I would need to know the V. Do I know the V here? Yeah. Yes, totally. Yes. No. Um, the 12.4 is for the battery. I do know the voltage here, though. What's the voltage here? 9.05. So minus it. 
Minus it from what? Uh, 12.04. 12 12.04, because remember, just like with Kirchhoff, if I have 12.4 volts in the battery, it means the resistors must use up 12.4. So if I do now 12.4 minus... 3.25. Uh, no, no, oh, you're giving me the final answer. Now, just wait, just pause for a moment. Think, that's why they asked me for the voltage in the first part. It's so that I can do this. So if I minus it, I get, as you said, 3.35. Now, does that mean there's 3.35 in each for both or what? Both. Both, why? Because in parallel, the voltage is the same. That's right. When it's parallel, the voltage stays the same. So the voltage we know, the resistance, we know. So do we know the current? Yeah. yeah, it's just V over R. Zero point six zero. So the current is uh, 3.35 divided by <coughs> 5. Is that right? Zero point, six seven. Zero point six seven. Thank you. Um, amps. Now, the, I don't, don't know what the next part is. I haven't looked. But I'm guessing. Well, no, maybe not. If they were to ask me for the current in the 4 ohm resistor, how can I do that quickly? Guys? V equals to V. No. Guys, look up. How could I get the current here quickly? 3.35 Subtract. Subtract what and what? Um, the 1508 minus the current here gives me the current in this one. Because if you think about it, 1.508 splits into 2 here. In the 5 ohm goes 0 0.67. What remains goes in the other one. Now let me see what they ask next. Yep. Oh yeah, you could use ohms all again. I'm just saying the quickest way. Ah, the next one is to calculate the power in the 4 ohm resistor. So, what's the formula for power? P equals I V. Now, do I know the V? I do. What is it? 3.35, wasn't it? Do I know the I? Well, I just talked about a quick way to get the I. What was it? 1.508 minus uh, 0 0.67. You give me the final answer? No. What's the final answer here? 2.80. Yeah, so 2.81 <coughs> watts. Uh, so, you know, there's only two formulas I used here for this. Ohm's law, V equals IR, and power equals IV. And that's five max. So, it's a short... Oh, sorry, there was one other formula. What was it? 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, yeah.